All right, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities, futures, and cryptocurrencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, there's a 14-day free trial uh, of the product. It comes with education. Uh, there's an educational course to go through. It's four parts, uh, and it... Uh, uh, also includes the advanced order flow webinars. Okay, these are um, uh, live market webinars that uh, uh, we go through the uh, uh, looking at the order flow and analyzing it, uh, looking for future price movement based on what we see in the chart. So the idea is to combine the educational course uh, with the uh, live market and support that educational course with what we cover in those advanced uh, order flow live webinars. Uh, there are other uh, educational resources as well. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Okay, let's go to the website quickly here. Uh, you can see digital currencies coming soon. Uh, let's uh, scroll down a bit and uh, there's an intro video here. Uh, just general information about bookmap. Uh, a bit further down, uh, there's a NASDAQ total view, so you can connect to uh, U.S. equities. You can read about the advantages here. And uh, a bit further down, okay, this is an uh, important section, uh, connectivity. So uh, Bookmap is a trading software platform, okay, just like any other platform that is out there. Uh, we are not a data provider, so you will need to provide your own data through one of these data providers here. Uh, we also connect uh, through the API of various platforms. So NinjaTrader, uh, TTX Trader Pro, and Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. So we connect to these three platforms via the API. Uh, however, we are a platform just like they are. So you can connect uh, Bookmap directly using CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, IQ Feed, uh, or Transact, or that Dev Experts uh, for that NASDAQ total view. Uh, that includes all U.S. equities. Okay, but further down, uh, pricing information here. The uh, uh, the 14-day the trial period for Bookmap Basic and Advanced, uh, you can see it's $49 per month and $99 for the advanced. Uh, they are billed quarterly, so note that. Um, you get that 14-day free trial. Now, the difference between these two uh, are, that, are the features uh, here, the add-ons. Okay, so the, the ability to trade right from the bookmap chart with the one-click trading, uh, as well as uh, proprietary indicators that we put together that analyze the order flow. So uh, in specific, um, the uh, large lot tracker, we're looking for not only order flow phenomena, but specific players uh, in the market. So this will I, this algo will identify larger players. Uh, another uh, player identifier here is the uh, iceberg detector where we can uh, uh, find where uh, larger players are using hidden orders uh, to show, uh, uh, well, not, not to show their hand in, in that limit order book, uh, but uh, where their icebergs are getting filled. Okay, and then there's uh, imbalance indicators here, as you can see, as well as a correlation tracker. Uh, quants, you can reach out to us here. Uh, you'll have specific needs, and we work with many uh, quants, so uh, uh, let us know for connecting your own data feed and, and proprietary indicators. Uh, if you're new to futures, uh, you can click here if you need a data feed. So there are some free uh, trial data feeds that are out there. Uh, and um, uh, so you can get a free data feed as well as bookmap uh, free trial uh, and get up and running uh, within, uh, within minutes, basically. Uh, if you can't decide which platform or which, I'm sorry, which version uh, is correct for you, you can see the complete uh, comparison here. All right, uh, other resources, uh, follow us on Twitter, uh, at bookmap underscore pro. And uh, there's our YouTube page here, all sorts of videos uh, for reference. Uh, and uh, you, you can subscribe to our page, and when new um, videos are uploaded, you'll, you'll get uh, alerts. The uh, bookmap uh, intro videos are here. I would uh, suggest starting with those uh, and then move on to some features and components, understand the user interface and how to work bookmap. Uh, and then these order flow video snippets, very concise videos that go through that phenomena that we cover in detail uh, in the live order flow uh, advanced 
uh, webinars, okay, that start in about uh, 25 or 4 minutes. Okay, all right, let's jump in and take a look at Bookmap. Uh, here is, uh, actually I'm using a, a, a version here that is not available to you at the moment. Okay, this is the new Bookmap version 7 that's coming out in about uh, 10 days or so. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, and um, uh, all sorts of new features in here, so ask uh, any questions uh, that you have. Happy, happy to answer them for you. Uh, and um, you can see right away, for example, the heat map is colored here. So uh, uh, there's a few different options as well for that colored heat map. You can use red as the highest liquidity. And just note these areas here. Now you're seeing really distinct uh, values uh, here in that um, uh, by using this colored heat map. Uh, really focusing in on some some subtle details in some of these areas, which is which is great. Uh, it, that's the reason that we um, uh, we have that uh, uh, new offering here with the color, because uh, look at, look in some of these areas here, you don't quite see that distinction here. Now you could if you zoomed in here and maybe uh, played around with the uh, uh, some of the settings a bit, uh, but uh, the colored heat map uh, will will show it immediately, right? And that's a that's a really nice advantage here. All right, okay. I'm going to go with the orange one for now. Uh, and um, anyway, uh, for those of you who are new here, so uh, let's let's go through some of the details here. Uh, that's what this webinar is for, uh, and we'll we will look at some of the um, uh, order flow phenomena as well. But uh, start with some of the basics. Okay. So what are we looking at in Bookmap? And um, well, uh, there's uh, looks like a lot of data here. Uh, there is a lot of data, uh, but it's actually pretty simple stuff. Uh, in fact, uh, I think I, and maybe I'll jump over to the NASDAQ here. It might be uh, a little simpler, although I, I do like this really high liquidity that you see up here, and we traded right into it with the uh, with Bitcoin. Uh, so some absorption up here, and then uh, we, we can see that uh, uh, this was all filled up in this area here, and we've we've sold off since. Uh, anyway, let's jump over to that Nasdaq, uh, and we'll take a look here. And I'll zoom out. Okay. All right. Okay. So, uh, looking at the uh, at the Nasdaq here, uh, all the different data that you see here. Okay. So. It looks uh, it looks like there's quite a bit here. Well, it's actually really simple and, and straightforward. There's only three elements here in this chart. Uh, we're only looking at here historical best bid and offer. Uh, if we zoom in here, it might be a little bit a little bit better. Okay, so historical best bid and offer, uh, and then you see these dots here. Uh, these are uh, these dots represent volume uh, that traded on that historical best bid and offer. Okay. Make it a little bit bigger here so you can see that. Uh, and um, that's the second element, okay? And the third element is the liquidity, okay? So from your, your depth of market, uh, your dome, uh, we, we've taken the um, areas of uh, uh, liquidity uh, and then projected it on the chart historically, okay? So that's all you're looking at here. So let, let me go through it in uh, a bit more detail, and let me actually get rid of this column here, okay? And I also want to configure my price ladder quickly here so it's a little easier to read. There we go. Okay. So these three elements, all right? Well, let's start off with something we already know. And we'll look at a just a candlestick chart. Okay. We'll zoom out a little bit. And we're looking at a five-minute candlestick chart here. Okay, that's it. Uh, and um, uh, the uh, it looks very clean and clear, right? And and that's uh, that's one of the uh, the benefits of the candlestick chart. Uh, however, the 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 problem here is we're making financial decisions based off of very very limited and op opaque data here. The only thing that we're seeing in this five minute period is open high, low, and close. And, uh, and it's all aggregated. All data is aggregated within this five-minute bar, right? And that's a problem. Uh, so uh, there's all sorts of information that is just simply not here on this chart. 
uh, and we want to know that information. It's, it's important. Uh, we want to understand, first off, uh, microstructures within this five-minute period. Right? And we're going to be able to do that very easily in Bookmap uh, by showing the best bid and offer, historical best bid and offer. So I turn that on, and uh, the, uh, the red line is the uh, historical best offer, and the green line is the historical best bid. Okay. So we're going to see all sorts of microstructures within that five-minute aggregated period. Uh, and uh, let's just uh, zoom in a little bit here. And you'll see what I mean here. So there's a there's a structure here, as you can see. Another structure we broke out above that structure here. Okay, and we traded up here for a while, and then we broke down from that structure here. Okay, so some trappy action within this area here, and uh, you're not really seeing that within the, uh, that that five minute period. Uh, you're seeing some of it actually. I'll give it a little bit of credit here. It's uh, it's not so bad. Uh, but there's all sorts of activity, like for example down here, okay, a beautiful uh, example, uh, is um, uh, we see that, uh, you know, price is slowing down. We don't see any of that within this uh, uh, candlestick chart. And uh, we can see a structure was, was made down here and we broke out of it, come, came back, retested to where we broke from. And this is one of the things we look for in the advanced order flow webinars, uh, is uh, these are opportunities. Uh, to, to uh, look for uh, the continuation to the upside if we're going to accept or reject uh, out of this trading zone here in the microstructure. And that's where the candlestick uh, is just uh, not allowing us that transparency. Okay. Now, the next level of data here uh, or layer uh, we want to look at is the volume. Okay. So let's turn that on. Okay. And the candlestick chart here is not showing any of that. Uh, we do have a sub chart here. Uh, however, we want to understand very specific volume, where it traded, when, how much, and what type. Okay, so now we do have that. Okay, we can see within that microstructure exactly where that volume traded, how much. Okay, the um, uh, we can see that with the bigger dot, uh, and then we can also see uh, what type. Okay, a green dot is a market buy order, a red dot is market sell. Okay. Now, we use aggressor classification of volume, so let me just show you the two elements so far that we have, and I'm going to zoom into this area. Okay. So this is it, uh, just these two elements here. So we have the historical best bid is the green line, historical best offer is the red line. Okay. And the volume dots here are transactions uh, on that historical best bid and offer. Okay, the red dot here is a is a market uh, sell. Green dot is a market buy. That's the aggressor. Okay, someone hit hit the uh, market buy button. They cr they paid up here. Actually, they the spread is actually two ticks wide here, so they paid up for it to to be able to get filled up in this area here. Okay, but they wanted in right away, and they didn't provide liquidity waiting in the dome. Uh, they took liquidity from the dome. Uh, that's what uh, that's why we consider it the aggressor. Okay. So uh, that, these are the two elements that we're showing so far, and we already have a tremendous amount of insight uh, into some of these areas. If I zoom out, uh, we we can see that uh, uh, we're trending down here, and we're we're starting to make uh, just slightly lower lows here. As you can see, the this we're slowing down, uh, and then that structure is broken here. Okay, this microstructure here, it's broken, and you see the, the aggressor here lift the offer up out of that area. Okay, this is the new evaluation of price. Okay, it's above this uh, 6592 area here. All right, and we can see that uh, we get a retest back to where we broke from, uh, and we don't find a lot of sellers here. Okay, whereas you can see we find sellers down here. So all sorts of details here in the order flow that we're starting to comprehend already. Okay, so uh, we're look. I'm at this point. We'd be looking for uh, a retest back up to the high, and maybe price discovery to the high side. Okay, because we have more aggressive volume trading at a higher area, and that's exactly what we got. And in fact, if we scroll forward here a bit, 
we have that same setup here. Again, okay. here's the first one. Here's the second one. All right. So here's that first retest to where we broke from here. And then here's the second one. Here's that retest right here. Okay. So same pattern. Uh, and uh, these are excellent areas for understanding the order flow. Uh, and um, uh, it, it's a, 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 a potential trading strategy here. Now, we cover that in the educational course. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, let me let me continue on here. So we're just looking at these two elements and already getting a lot of information. Okay, the third element here okay, is the, uh, and let's go to the current market for the moment, okay, is the dome. Okay, the depth of market, all right? So here's our price ladder. Everything to the right of this vertical white line here is the live market. Okay, so this is current best bid and offer here with the dashed lines. Okay, this, this number here is our last traded volume, and then you see our price ladder here. Okay, in the COB column, okay, it stands for current order book. Uh, you can see best bid and offer here. Uh, and then uh, you can see the liquidity at these areas. Okay. The numbers here in the in the column. Okay, these are traders, and let's zoom in a little bit more. These are traders who are lined up uh, in these areas here to provide liquidity. Okay, they want to be sellers up above current price, and they want to be buyers down here. Okay, so we we know uh, exactly uh, where these traders are lining up and, for, and providing liquidity. Okay, you you can note, however, that these numbers are constantly changing. Right, and um, although we get lots of insight with the current market, the problem is when those numbers change, we have no uh, uh, history of understanding what happened at that area, okay? Because the, the number has changed and refreshed, and uh, that 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 problem is solved with the book map heat map. Okay, so we'll turn on the heat map here, and this is that final piece of uh, of data. Okay, so areas of high liquidity. Uh, are painted bright orange here with the, using this heat map here. Okay, so over here, dark gray or black uh, is uh, very low liquidity. Blue is higher, white is higher yet, and then yellow, and then finally orange is the highest. Okay, so areas of high liquidity here in the book, 103 contracts up here is, uh, is orange. Okay, and uh, uh, you can see the reference here. All right, so they're starting to add liquidity in here. So when these numbers change, you'll see the heat map change, okay? Where this becomes insightful and useful uh, is not just for the current market, but the historical market, because everything to the left of the vertical white line here uh, is historical. So we just captured that change here in liquidity. They provided higher liquidity here uh, at, uh, at, at 66, 13 and a half. They pulled it, added it a little higher for a moment, and then they just pulled it completely. So now we have an understanding of this player up here in the auction. And we're starting to understand where uh, they are uh, interested in dealing. And we can start to note their behavior. Now look at them getting more aggressive here, providing liquidity down at this level at, uh, at 66.12. And then also at uh, this guy is jumping back in or someone's jumping back in here at 13 and a quarter. Okay, just, just pulled and it looks like they added up here. Okay, so look at the behavior here. Uh, this would be rather difficult and challenging to uh, put together in a dome. Okay, so let me use the crosshairs here. And you can see here, jumped into the book, provided high liquidity, and then the moment that he jumps out, jumps up here and provides liquidity. Okay. Probably the same player. Probably this guy, it's probably this guy too, which is obviously the same player because as soon as he pulls, he adds here uh, and then jumps out. Okay, so all sorts of understanding of this auction and where traders are lining up to trade and deal. And that's an important part of uh, understanding the, uh, the market. Uh, and uh, uh, so you're able to now use your dome, not only for the current market, but for the historical market. Okay, so you can, you can start to gauge their intent to trade at some of these levels. Uh, and then, uh, uh, you know, if you uh, uh, see that they're still interested in the current market there, uh, well, maybe you want to be along with them, 
uh, or uh, you know maybe uh, uh, these are targets. Uh, there's all sorts of ways of reading this, and that's what we go into uh, more depth uh, in that in the advanced uh, in the advanced webinar. Okay, we're also able to make the distinction between fake and real liquidity. Okay, so for example, in this area here, it looks like they stayed in the book. They may have pulled at the last moment here. So we can we can uh, make that distinction. We'll click on the move tool. I'm going to hover over here, and then just uh, with my center mouse wheel, zoom in really quickly. And here's our answer, okay? So high liquidity that was here at this uh, 6612. Uh, and they stayed in here for a little bit and started to trade into it just a little bit. And then they pulled, okay? A lot of a lot of the liquidity was pulled. We can use the data tip tool and get exactly uh, what happened here. So we have the date, the time, and then the liquidity here on the ask uh, at this price level. Okay, so over here, it was 90 contracts. They start pulling as price is coming up toward them, uh, down to 88. Uh, and then um, we can see that, uh, uh, you know, it was, it was down to uh, 80 uh, and then down to 68, 67, and then, um, you know, 65 in this area here. So nice subtlety we're using this colored heat map. Uh, we can see just these small distinctions uh, in, uh, in the liquidity that was pulled. So... The majority, you know, about a third uh, of that liquidity was pulled uh, at this area, okay? And we see some trades that took place here, but look look what our, our volume column, let's see here, uh, at this point, our volume column, okay, so not not so bad, 80, 80 contracts traded here, uh, as you can see, or 79 uh, traded here, uh, and, um, you know, they were providing, uh, uh, you know, what around 52 uh, or 49 as you can see here I'm sorry 49 was last trade um, so yeah I mean uh, you know they're starting to they're pulling liquidity but they're also getting filled at this area okay so it's a little bit of both a little bit of pulling as well as uh, uh, getting getting filled and staying in that book okay so this was partially absorbed right now we know that that's fact Okay, so we know that larger players are, are starting to get interested up at this area here. Okay. Well, we can see that uh, also in this area here, it looks like, in this area here as well, it looks like some, uh, uh, you know, partial absorption in some of these little areas. So they're absorbing on the way up. And finally, uh, if they continue to um, absorb uh, with high liquidity, in, in, or at least um, higher liquidity, uh, in some of these areas, well, maybe maybe the uh, the buying pressure starts to uh, to dwindle, right? And and you can see that's kind of what happened here. In fact, look at the uh, the the volume that traded up at this higher high here that made a higher high by just a tick. And we can see it's just there's very little contracts that traded up here. Okay, in fact, four. Right, our volume column is showing that. I can hover over this and it gives me volume of uh, of three at this uh, at this moment here. Okay, so that was one of the trades. Uh, and, um, okay, so uh, we're starting to understand, well, that the buying pressure is is drying up, okay? So start to look for sideways activity based on what we know from this auction and the way that this liquidity was filled and absorbed, okay? So all sorts of ways of uh, comprehending the context of the auction as well as the traded volume, okay? And we can see all of this within the microstructure, okay, which is key, okay? So let's go back to originally where we were with that microstructure, uh, that idea. Here's another microstructure here. In fact, I can outline it with the rectangle here. All right, so we came up and went sideways for a bit uh, and then broke down, okay? Look at the retest came back up to twice, okay? Right to where we broke from. Okay, I, I don't see any of that activity here uh, in the candlestick chart, right? I just see a big long wick up here and then uh, kind of a common looking bar here. So understanding the details here uh, and, and getting this kind of level of transparency uh, uh, into price and the auction uh, and the transactions is, uh, is really gonna help you, okay? So um, anyway, uh, that's the basics of uh, a book map. Uh, and um, if you're signed up for that, um, uh, the trial, 
uh, or a current customer, then uh, we'll uh, we'll see you over in the advanced webinar in just uh, just a few minutes. Okay. All right. Thanks for coming, guys. Take care.